How do you know you have good high quality cocaine? It is not looking like the stuff in the movies because the stuff in the movies is not what good cocaine looks like. And what people don't realize is that cocaine is cut with a lot of different drugs out there. And it is not a safe and healthy drug. I mean, cocaine is cut with baby laxatives. It's cut with caffeine. It's cut with uh, aspirin. It's cut with uh, laundry detergent, which are all white and powder and chemical and what we think it should look like because that's what the movies show it as. But that is not good stuff. And it is cut with even more things that are bad for you. And believe it or not, yes, you can OD from cocaine. And you can also OD from the drugs that they put in cocaine because believe it or not, people do put fentanyl in cocaine. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys, my name is Eric and this is how you know if you have good cocaine or not. When it comes to cocaine, a lot of times people refer back to what they saw in the movies and they see these little white bags of powder and it's just pure powder and they're like, yeah, this is the good stuff. No, it is not, that's actually crap. That is not good cocaine. That is mix and cut cocaine. That is cut co cocaine that you're gonna run into that's gonna have baby laxatives and it. it's gonna have an ex excess of laundry detergent, meat tenderizer, whatever it is that street pharmacists put in it to make it go further and that's what I don't think a lot of people realize is that cocaine is an extremely dangerous drug. I was addicted to this drug for a very long time to the point that I was doing one to two eight balls of coke a day. And you could tell the difference between very good stuff to bad stuff. And that's the difference of what made me do not a lot versus making me do a lot to try and get that same high. And again, at the same time, ruin my entire life. Uh, so when it comes to thinking that you have great cocaine, if it is white and it is just pure powder and fluffiness, that is not good. That is cut with a lot of stuff in it to make it that powder. And you're buying into what you saw in the movies thinking that it's good stuff. Because the best cocaine out there is a cocaine that has more of a yellowish tint to it. If it has a bluish or purplish tint to it, it's usually cut now with meth, which is, another, again, another dangerous drug. Again, if you can tell, there's nothing good about this drug. But the yellowish tint is the most pure stuff. And it's going to, if you break it up, it's going to have almost like a crystallized, hardened solidity to it. Um, it's going to have little divots in it. It's going to, it's going to, to break up and be almost crisp to crunch up. Um, it's not going to have any little shards or anything in it, and it's not going to just break down just right away to powder. You have to break it down yourself into that powder. That is actually the most purest. That's been the most unmixed. Uh, again, that stuff is extremely highly addictive because that's going to give you the strongest high, the longest high uh, that is out there, and it's also going to be very expensive. Again, it's not the white powder stuff. It is that yellowish solid tint. And a lot of times people don't realize that. And so a lot of times what ends up happening is unfortunately you see a lot of people out there getting it almost hooked into this drug because they're almost getting addicted to other things and there's other things in this drug that are messing with people's system. And again, you don't realize so much of what's mixed in here that people do die from cocaine overdose. They do die from cocaine itself. It does increase your heart rate. It increases so much different things within your body, the dopamine rush, that this drug is not safe by any means. And unfortunately, it gives you almost the God complex to the ninth degree of feeling indestructible, feeling unstoppable, that again, even if you're drinking alcohol, because I was drinking two to three fifths of vodka a day, that's what essentially led me down the road, the, the route of being addicted to Coke, was that this actually helped me self-medicate myself. This helped me self-medicate through it to keep my high going. And that itself was extremely dangerous. So when it comes to addiction, it comes to cocaine, there is good coke out there, there's bad coke out there, but regardless of what kind of cocaine it is, it's all bad. And some of the worst parts of getting sober from this drug is all of a sudden now you're left with nothing and you're left with your thoughts and you're left with your head and now you have to re-essentially learn life. I mean, for the one out there struggling, comment down below. I have links to NA and AA. Uh, I also hit the like and follow button because I do share a lot of my experiences. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, my name is Eric. Uh, I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, MDD. Those are my diagnoses. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I attempted suicide. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. 72517 is my sobriety date. And for anybody out there going through it, my mission is just that you don't feel alone, that you understand that other people have been through this and what you're going through is temporary and it will get better. And I understand that it's a lot of pain right now, but it's great to be able to look out there and be able to relate to other people who have been through this, who have been through this process and know to yourself that, hey, you know what? It is okay, it will get better because you know what? I wouldn't trade a day for being high to compare to what I have now. So you got this, just don't give up.